Hi guys, so today is the 29th of July 2022 and um, it was Friday today. Um, I... <laughs> Shit, what the heck is this guys? One second, just one second. Oh, I thought that was a bug. I'm so sorry, I just have a flower pot here. A yellow flower plant. <gasps> I don't even know how to take out these. I know where to get these. I just got this as a gift from someone. I'm just so bad at looking after them. Although, I'm getting water today. So I was saying, I had a um, booking today. Oh, Jalu. Hi, Jalu. Just my cats are here. Well, foster cats. I foster cats. So if you guys, if you see a lot of uh, cats and kittens in general, lots of pet in my video, then they're not mine. But technically, they are mine. Um, but in reality, they are my neighborhood, like my neighbor cats. Um, I only have one cat, and then my family members do have more cats, so they sometimes bring them as well. And then I foster uh, like my neighbor's cat. Uh, what fostering, cat fostering mean? I'll tell you, I'll explain in a different video if you guys want to know what cat fostering is. But anywho, just saying that I had a booking today, so I is a dip. I had a booking today, so I just got from a while ago and it's getting dark. Or well, it's already dark, I guess. It's 10 something, so obviously it's a bit dark. Um, I had some accident today um, while I was doing my client. Um, I burned my hand and it was. It didn't hurt that bad, but obviously it did feel a bit like unease because it's obviously burning and it does look really bad. And I tried. <sighs> I, tried I tried doing dressing. Um, I do dressing for myself anyways, if I get a cut or something, I'll do it for myself. I don't need anyone else to do it for me. But anyways, um, yeah, so how this happened, I'm the story. So, I had a booking done for a client, this client wanted um, hot, hot wax to get done, like, you know. So, um, so I went over to hers and then I waxed her, like, obviously I did the hot wax thing on her and um, a bit of, like, hot wax fell on my hand, like here, as you can see here. And then I tried to get it let it off as soon as possible ASAP and it got dry so you know hot wax, if you know what hot wax it, it gets it dries within a few seconds. So it, it was dry already and it was hard. So I ripped them off and sadly I don't know how this happened. Like I have used hot wax on myself loads of time, many many times I do use hot wax, yes. But this never happened to me. I when I ripped it off or uh, it kind of like ripped my skin off, if that makes sense. And um it, it it was like, I don't know how this happened, so literally it burned my skin and it ripped off. So I do have a bit of scarring here and it does, I'm not going to say it doesn't, so I did put like, moisturiser on it so that cooling gel and then trying to fight from here, dressed it up, like it dressed it up because um, I wanted it to heal. I want the air to go in as well, so I'm just going to open this band uh, dressing today. Um, the one will kind of like get dry. Um, but yeah, this is the story of my life. So yeah, will I be taking more orders? What I think, yes. Did this ever happen to me before? Not particularly like this, but yes. Is it safe to use hot wax? Um, if you're not a professional, you don't use it. Um, I have done it before, I've got experience. Um, I did a course as well, so it's fine for me to do it. But accidents sometimes happen, okay? So it's okay, even though if you're a professional, still it will. Sometimes you do meet with accidents, so there's nothing that you can do about it. But yeah, it's not as big as it, like, it sounds like it, but well, it is a bit. So if I say take it off, it always will be a scarring and when it's healing, it'll scar definitely because it burns. So uh, yes, and I don't like it. But if I get scarred, it takes forever to get rid of them because my skin is a very pigmented skin. If like, I get pigmented so quick, <laughs> like scarring. So that's what it is. But I did have a good great experience with this client. Um, her and um, her sister really like, started panicking. Like, okay, like, it's okay. It's just a tiny bit of burn. It's alright. It's, it's not that. It's not that deep. And I didn't really react to it, but because it was big and the ladies, the girls saw it and she was like, oh my gosh, she's like panicking. She got scared at a point, but I was like, no, don't worry, it happens. Um, but luckily, it didn't burn her, imagine. If she's paying me for that particular service, and then imagine I burn her, that would be the worst. But yes. Um, waxing experience, I think yeah, waxing arms and legs are okay, but when you do other parts of the body, it does get... It does get really scary because not scary, but you've got to be more like um, you've got to be more. Uh, how do I say? It? Like wait, I'm coming. Like what's the word? My head's not working. You've got to be careful. Just use careful because um, we do have other 
part of our body the so many parts of our bodies are delicate so the skin is delicate so like hot waxing it's not it's not really for everyone Angelo so yeah it does uh, you gotta be very careful I've done it before to other to clients so um, never had any experience like this um, I'm glad but I don't want to speak too soon because you never know imagine I go to service my one of my clients and imagine a delicate part of their body of waxing and this happened to them like it would be so scary they would not even hate me they'd probably kick me out like go away lady like that's just that yeah great story of my okay yes right